Hey guys. Let me turn this down. Hey, it's your girl Miss J back with another video. Just want to check in with you guys today. How CI everybody, all my folks are doing. I'm outside one of the G kids school, waiting for them to get out of school. Then I'm head down to the next block and pick up the uh, the other one. But it's been a few days since I chatted with you guys. Just eating some candy, guys. You guys want some? They're good, you know. As they said, they're good, you know. <laughs> anyway, guys, yeah, just sitting here waiting for my granddaughter to come out of school. It's kind of cold in the city a day. Well, if you say maybe 28, 30 degrees, yeah, compared to what we had recently a few days ago, which was so brutal because we really have been getting by with the cold weather. I mean, you know, we didn't have too bad of a winter, 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 winter for the past few years. It's been pretty okay here in the city. I didn't have to dig my truck out. Uh, not too much digging out this year. It's just the cold weather. I mean, it hit us with an Arctic blast. And a lot of people really, you know, hibernated for those few days. I know I did. Um, a lot of the schools were closed. So the kids, uh, they got to make that up before, you know, the school ends this year in 2019. But yeah, guys, I'm just sitting here waiting for them. And I'm going to drop them off at home. And, uh, yeah, I've been picking them up now for about maybe three weeks now. About almost three weeks now. Because um, um, my daughter's been in the house. If you didn't know, I have a new grandbaby. And, um, yeah, that's why I've been picking up the kids. Because my daughter been staying in uh, with my granddaughter, my new granddaughter, um, Savannah better known as Miss Pebbles. She's so beautiful, guys. Um, when she get uh, a little bit older, uh, when I get a chance and I say older, I'm going to introduce her to uh, the blog, and I hope that you uh, like my little new addition to my family. You know, it's been a while since we, you know, we had a new addition to the family, and uh, she's such a precious little thing, and I thank God each and every day for her. You know, it's such a blessing, you know, to have her. You know, and she has her own little personality already. And some people say, oh, you know, Miss J, she kind of look like you. She does a little, you know. Uh, she got that little Bewitch nose. You know Samantha from Bewitch, if anybody remember uh, Bewitch. You know, she has that little Bewitch nose and has such a head full of beautiful hair. And like I said, she's just a, a blessing from God. But, uh, yeah, I just wanted to check in with you guys and talk with you a little bit and just see what's going on with the folks i hope that everybody you know when you go out each and every day that you dress warm you have your kids dress warm also because you know with all this flu epidemic and and the cold weather you know i just want you know all the kids to be you know dress warm not just the kids the adults too but i see so many children you know going to school you know and it's kind of i know they're not my kids they are my children and, you know, and some of them, you know, I think they kind of half dress. You know, I don't know if the parents are, you know, on their way to work, have gone to work when the kids leave out for school. Because I see a lot of kids, no hats on, no gloves, you know. And, you know, they have on these little, um, summertime gym shoes, as I say. The little Chuck Taylors, low top, you know. And not just those, you know, a lot of other... Just the way kids dress. I guess I'm old school. You know, I'm so believing in dressing your kids warm. I've been preaching this for years with my kids and you know, my grandkids. You know, I try to tell them to dress warm. And they always say, oh, well, Mama, we're in a car. You know, you know, we're not going to get cold. That's not true. And when my grandchildren watch this blog, I'm pretty sure they're going to say, my grandmother always says a car will break down, which is true. And, you know, I try to have stuff in my car in case something like that does happen and hope that they're never with me in case, you know, they're in my car or someone else's car and it break down, especially when it's cold. So, you know, I just try to tell them to dress warm. You know, when I go shopping for them, you know, I try to buy them uh, the warm stuff, like, you know, the thick, warm gloves, not these little... Um, 
steering gloves like I be having on, you know, in the car. I got thick gloves now. Don't get me wrong. I got extra thick gloves. You know, sometimes you have to double up with these gloves inside your gloves. You know, so I try to tell them, make sure that, you know, they keep up with their gloves. Put your hat on. You know, I buy them the boots with the fur on the inside. I don't buy these little cute, you know, boots, you know, that, you know, oh, it's cute. But it doesn't keep your feet warm. It's just for show. So, you know, I just try to, you know, uh, take care of them. And like I see, I see so many other children, you know, out here, you know, they just like half dress. And I'm, I'm old school, you know. So I just want to make sure that everybody is, is warm and, and safe when they're going to school. Because, you know, just so much is happening, you know, here in the city and, and across this world, you know. And I kind of worry, you know, about a lot of people. Not just my immediate family, uh, my whole family, my folks, my family, my peeps, you guys, you know. I think of you often, you know, so don't say, well, you're not my family. You might not think that I'm not your family, but we are family. You know, God created all of us, you know, this being, this wonderful being, you know, who's created us, you know. And sometimes we, we fight against it, you know, because there's so much hate in the world. And if we just love each other. And be there for each other, whether good or bad. And we hope that it's all good. You know, it brings uh, happiness to uh, so many people. Not just mine, a lot of people. And, you know, and I just wanted to check in with you guys and just, you know, talk with you a little bit. You know, you know I miss Jay do. I shoot the breeze. I try to say something positive. You know, even though sometimes people might say something negative. Say, well, I don't want to hear anything she got to say. You know, she's just going on and on. But there's a reason uh, that I say the things that I do because, you know, you never get too old to listen. You know, I'm, even though I'm an older person, you know, you won't know my age, you know, you never get too old to listen. You know, sometimes you just have to sit around people and hear things, what people are saying, and just talk to people in general. You know, just don't be afraid. You know, maybe if you let a lot of stuff out that's bothering you, it helps sometimes, and sometimes it don't for some people, but I hope that it do. So these are just words just words of encouragement. You know, I'm trying to provide for people and that have provided for me and told me throughout my life, you know, because my life wasn't easy, and sometimes I think that it's still not easy. But by the grace of him that I always keep with me, always, regardless of where I go or what I might say, even if sometimes if people say things that might, make me feel a certain type of way, you know, I try to go to him and talk with him about it, you know, and hope that uh, he can uh, work it out for me. So, yeah, I'm just sitting here. Um, it's, um, what time is it? Uh, 2.59, well, actually 3 o'clock now, five more minutes, and my first little G key, it'll be coming out in about five more minutes, and then I'm going to drop them off at home and I'm heading home myself because um, on the news I was hearing we both have an ice storm uh, between excuse me between six and six p.m. and six a.m. So it's gonna be real slippery outside because it's kind of cold and the stuff is gonna freeze. And make sure you guys, um, if you have a husband or your friend or whoever, you just don't have to have a husband. If you have a little salt, put it on your stairs and sidewalk. So you won't fall and, and hurt yourself or someone else who's walking past might fall and hurt themselves. So, but I just want to say, you know, I'm thinking about you guys. Um, I haven't blogged in a few few days. Well, I'm looking at this lady. She's every time I sit here, she's always dressed warm. So that's that that makes me look uh, feels good when I see that, you know. So. I'm not going to hold you guys too much longer. Like I said, I just want to check in with you guys and tell you that Miss J is thinking of you. And I hope wherever you might travel and go, whether you're going to work or coming home or taking your children to school, that you be safe and watch your surrounding. Because you know who's out here. The devil is out here. And he's lurking. You know, he's lurking in the shadow somewhere. You know, you might say, well, I don't see him. But it could be in someone. So that's why I say we have to pray for this world that we live in. The world that God has created for us. A beautiful place he has created for us. That we take advantage of each and every day. So, you know, this is Miss J. Um, checking in with you guys. You have a wonderful evening. And uh, maybe if I'm not too tired when I get home. Because I want to take a nap. 
you know, because I hadn't been feeling too well for a few days. Felt like I was trying to catch this bug because, you know, I'm very, um, I'm not sick that often, like with a cold or sore throat or flu anything for like maybe two or three years before I catch a cold. And when it catch me, it knocks me down. You know, so I felt something coming on and I took uh, a little cough medicine, not much, you know, and I feel a whole lot better. So when I get on, like I say, if I'm feeling better, I'll come back and check with you guys in a little bit. And if I don't, I'll see you guys on the next block, next blue, the next block. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, comment below and uh, let me know what you want to talk about. You know, hit the subscribe button, you know, so you can get those notifications when I post a video. And like I said, I hope that you guys have a wonderful evening. Keep guarding your heart, keep in your life always. And I'll talk to you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.